Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name's Andrew and today I'm continuing on with Citadel episode 3. On the last episode Mason got his hands on the Citadel X case which turns out to be a lot more helpful than I thought it was going to be. I thought it just had the nuclear codes in it but it turns out it's got all kinds of Citadel information in it including uh, Mason and uh, Nadia's memories. We also found out that Bernard was the one who wiped their memories. Some kind of last ditch protocol which he apparently didn't do on himself. But yeah Nadia was the one who got their memories back the last episode. I like the fact that only one of them got their memories back, but I guess in, uh, Mason's going to get his memories back eventually, maybe by the end of the season. And also, Bernard got caught by Manticore, so let's get into it. Again, starting out upside down. With the slow turn. I wonder why they decided to start every episode like this. Davik put a tracker in the X case. I disabled it. Well, at least I disabled that tracker. So tell me about her. Who? Your wife. Abby. How long? Eight years. Well, you didn't waste any time. <laughs> yeah, eight years. You have a daughter, Hendrix. He must have met her like straight away, as soon as he got back to America. Mason, who was he? Couldn't tell you. We weren't that close. It was all about the job, never got personal. Never? Yeah. That's a lie. Alright. Going back 10 years now. got so many working for Citadel in this one location. We having a briefing or what? We're running five behind. Running five behind? Hey. Hmm? I really don't think Manicor killed everybody that worked for Citadel. There must be thousands of people. All right. We have intel that Hassan Syndicate has created a new virus he plans to release in the U.S. within days. Straight away. She's barely two seconds in, you're heckling her like Stadler and Waldorf. You know the Muppets? The two old Muppets? Yeah, I think you are the old Muppet. <laughs> Lucky for you, you'll have some help. Our newest agent will assist you. Rookie's gonna assist me. How will I know them? Oh, you'll know. I'm guessing that's Nadia. So she was only working for him for two years before they got wiped out. <laughs> Shot him in the nuts, eh? Not a hustle, Alpha. Fuck. Enemy ATV is fast approaching. They got you surrounded. Not quite. No, no, no. What the hell are you doing? Catch <laughs> your eyes! He's gonna steal his parachute. Oh, trip. Oh, backup shoot. <laughs> Alright, they got him down. Hostiles in the air. Activate ski boots. I guess it's new. Ha, <laughs> cool. Copy that. Two ticked out. We've got some interesting gadgets in this show. So far. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting rockets around him. Oh, that's gotta break some bones, dude. Five ATVs are heading up the mountain. Alpha, you got three broken ribs and internal bleeding. Yep. There she is. <laughs> oh, 
Boy. Oh, dude's always getting blasted. So many concussions. This is a good shot. I think she might be more deadly. You're welcome, Mason Kane. Excuse me? Well, you almost blew the entire mission. Half of the US would be infected by now. I had it covered. Did you, though? <laughs> nope. Where'd you come from? Am I sex? I be. I'm homegrown. My mother was Citadel. I joined five years ago. Came up through Bravo team. Five years ago? That's cute. It's adorable. You know it's. What did I say? She's new. Is your director begging me to join tier one just in time to save your ass? Okay. So they have different tiers. You read my file. Mm. Didn't pen you for a fan. <laughs> you know I don't usually do this, but I could sign an autograph. Take a selfie. Dude, so cocky. So this is still 10 years later, uh, 10 years ago. Oops, didn't take him long to hook up. Can I trust you? <laughs> of course. Seems to ask that question a lot. Can I trust you? Always. And that was only two weeks after they met each other. I'm guessing that means everything's good. Guessing this has something to do with a secret. So it's a person. Does she have a child with Mason? And that's why she doesn't want to tell him. Because she did spend some time away from Citadel before it got destroyed. Well, that's my guess. They got a, a child together. Nice to see you, Bernard. It's horrifically fucking terrible to see you, Dahlia. <laughs> Couldn't be worse. I don't know how these two know each other. Imagine it's a shock to see me at this end of the table. Yeah. I thought you might be at a blood feed or an animal sacrifice or <laughs> your weekly coven meeting. Yeah. She might be just taking a break from that. Among the delights was a Citadel AI system that tracked uranium levels throughout the world. The whereabouts at any time all nuclear weapons. Only okay. we can't access the system. So they can keep track of them. Well, they can't keep track because they don't have access. You need to tell me the 19 character password to access the system. What's the point in a gun at him going to do? Okay. Okay. There's no way he's going to give it up that easy. The password is why <laughs> don't you fuck off. <laughs> That'd be funny if that was actually the password. Maybe, but what about the lives of your wife and daughter? They're in Wyoming, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. With Mason Kane's wife. Yeah, they daughter. find that out. Did I track that phone call that Mason did last episode? You can have it if you want. I'll show you how to use it. You've just used the pointy end. So, how did you and your husband meet? Well, I was, um... I was in a bad car accident about nine years ago. That's awful. I don't remember it. Traumatic brain injury. We must be in rehab together. Nearby, and I started memory therapy there. And um, Kyle was just 
he was in the same program. That's how we met. So they met pretty much straight after the accident. You drove your truck to our New York headquarters, so we worked backwards, used mm. every camera... Backtracked him. And I told you already. <laughs> Carter Spence. Carter? Yes, he was quite uncooperative to begin right. with. I have no idea who that is. What did you do to Carter? This your basic torture tools? Man who loves to talk. You've gone awfully quiet, Bernard. Well, I'm learning to listen more. <laughs> There's another way we could do this. Still smart ass. Excavate your memories. It's a handy little device and a silge created. Probably should have just went straight to that. Mason Kane. He's a friend of yours, right? I wouldn't say he's a friend. I mean, he'd probably say we're friends. Probably I, he'd say I, I'm his best friend. But... <laughs> so it gives me great pleasure to do this to a friend of Kane's. And I'm going to keep what I want. That dude really doesn't like Kane. Brielle is still alive. What? What did you just say? I said Brielle is still alive. The woman you love, that's her name, isn't it? Brielle? Citadel lied to you. If this is another trick, I'm going to tear you apart. You understand? <laughs> I swear. It's going to be worse than what he's already going to do. Drive yourself to Barajas Airport. Catch a plane back to the States. Here's some cash. Well, you can't really do that. They're still gonna be after him. These are all messages. Calls for help. This is Agent Carter Spence. I'm in oh. Beijing. Okay, that's the dude that I was talking about before. This was only four months ago. This is Agent Carter Spence. I think he's a bait for a medical to draw and sit at our agents. I just have to get close enough to hack his phone to steal his access codes. Problem is, he's not a fan of yours truly. Why's that? Might have killed his brother. Might have. <laughs> that means she definitely did. Fight for the air. That's Baldi's kid. He just told you to go fuck yourself. Isn't there a ball pit somewhere you kick and go play in? The chief of armed forces. Well, he's doing pretty good at the moment. So why do you still fight for her? Her memory? Upload's almost complete. Start wrapping this up. I'm surprised, Kane, that you of all... <laughs> she really does. She doesn't want to end the talk. What the hell are you talking about? Artikor had somebody working on the inside. Yeah. It was your girl, Nadia. Or at least, that is what the whispers say. Okay. Kyle, you gotta go now. Everybody thinks that it was her. Uh, the glass is going in his face. Okay. Pointed at Christiana. Baldwin won't give a shit if you shot him, but his kid. It's time to lower the guns. You first. <laughs> the dude's shaking way too much. What the fuck's going on here? What was he talking about? Horseshit. He's a liar. Bernard said to sit it out. She wanted him, in, she wanted him to wrap to it up fast. Was it you? Think about it, Kyle. If I was working with Manticore. Why would I be trying to break into a black site to free a Citadel agent? And why the fuck are you still alive? It's good questions. That's Brielle, right? What? No. Okay. This is using it as a distraction. 
Où est Sally? She's alive. Her name is Abby. Okay. And she's married to Mason King. Well, this was completely unexpected. I can take you to her. <laughs> Bloody hell. You get me out of here. I'll tell you everything. How did they end up in the same because hospital? Because everything you know is a lie. Okay. All right, there we have it, episode three. If you made this part of the video, leave a like if you can. I wasn't expecting the end of that episode. It's like uh, Mason's wife's going to be a lot bigger part of this series than I thought she was going to be. So I wonder who she really is. And was that story about her being in an accident and... Had not having any memories or whatever. Is that true or not? I doubt that. She might have all of her memories. She might even know who Mason was to start with when she first met him in the hospital. She might even went there just because she knew she, he was there. I have no idea what's going on, but we'll probably go through her story next episode. See what she's about. I'm assuming she's some kind of spy. So she's got some kind of skills, which will come in handy when uh, Mandicore will finally catch up to him because they know they're in Miami. So it's only a matter of time before they show up. We had Nadia contacting somebody. I think she might have a, a child with Mason. She's definitely got something going on, but I don't think it's that she's the one who turned everybody in. I don't think that really makes sense. I think it's more likely that Mason or Bernard did it, but even that doesn't really make sense that they would do it either. If Mason's wife turns out to be a Citadel agent, maybe she's the one that ratted out everybody. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Give this video a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.